Are we back at the asylum? Oh, this is a graveyard. Here we are. But this is a cemetery. Oh. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? Oh, no. You'll see. Come on, follow me. Yeah, see, this part makes me question whether any of that was real when once you started hallucinating. Because... Oops, I clicked out. Because, um... This seems a little like a stretch for a, a guy as reasonable as that guy to take a ten-year-old child to this fucking well, graveyard. Well, it could, it could all, I, I'm gonna wait to see what he's why he's taking her there. Yeah. But it could be that I what I'm guessing is like, can you identify your parents' bodies or something? I don't know. Well, yeah, you're right. That is what it is. So I I think that's. It's a little much, but given the situation where, like, it's literally a, a, a asylum where they are experimenting on people. Well, I know a lot of times and he, when we're, like, like, you know, role-playing, and I'm, I'm thinking, is the DM just, like, pushing the <laughs> limits of logic here, you know, or is this, like, what they actually no, this intended? Is, and, I'm, and this writing has been really great in this yeah, story. No, I mean, maybe like, it's this is what they intended. It's definitely pushing the limits of reality, and, like, mm -hmm. enough to make you think, is it really happening? Yeah. But this part, at least, I think is... I think this part could be happening. Right now, I think this all this is happening. We'll wait and see what actually happens, but <laughs> I assume something crazy is... Well, yeah, I gotta take that. <laughs> I assume something crazy is gonna happen that isn't real, mm -hmm. but I never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that, but now I'm on my own, so I can. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't press the horn. If the doctor knows that I'm here, I'll be in trouble. Well, he left you here. I can't be good to press all the buttons. It can't be good to press all the buttons. Nothing happens, though. Okay. All that evidence. Mm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has a little secrets inside. Is that a clue? Does it have secrets? Nope. The car seats are quite comfortable. I'm glad it's not real leather. It's more friendly. If it was real leather, it would be like using dead bodies. Ew. <laughs> All right, we got our cro we got our weapon now. So let's look at the weeping angel. Hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. Wow. Oh, that's the same thing. Alright. Let's head into the cemetery. Meet our zombie parents. <laughs> this is, is this is their grave? The family, the Bo Dagenhart family grave? It's your parents' resting place. And also yours. Oh, because publicly she's supposed to be dead, yes. so all three. Okay. Oh, wait. What if there is a child's body in there? What if? <laughs> what if? And it's like, what if you're not really Fran Bo? <laughs> what if you're actually some other girl? I don't know. Why bring me here? Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran. Things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us making things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? <sighs> anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. <laughs> See, if this wasn't a video <laughs> game, this would parents. definitely be a <laughs> suspicious act, leaving the child alone here. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll allow it for the sake of video game, adventure video game stuff. Puzzles. Haven't you rested enough already? Did the deedle worms take you back to the soil? Deadly worms? <laughs> Are you coming up soon from under the ground like a zombie? I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? I went, okay. <laughs> Can I go yeah, back? Yeah, she's not praying. It's just a little bug. Yeah. She's Holding. <laughs> just a little bug. Just a little bug. I'm kind of glad I don't have my pills here. Actually, no, I want my pills. They show me the ultra reality. Yeah. Although, I don't need my pills. It's, it's all in my head. I can control it, right? Maybe. 
<laughs> I have to find a shovel to dig and see my parents. That's what she was Should like alluding to. I want to look first. Martin Bow, father. Lucia Bow Dagonart, mother. Bran Bow Dagonart. Hello, father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me, so I'm not angry at you anymore. But I miss you a lot. I promise I'll be happy. It isn't fair to be sad all the time. I wonder what the stars mean. Thank you for all the beautiful memories, Daddy. I'll love you forever. Uh, born and died. Oh, I thought the crosses were their religion. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Mommy, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy. And I always will. Goodbye. Hmm. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. <gasps> oh, that's kind of an allusion to all this. Why? Why just me? What does the asylum have to do with the monster? I missed that one. Why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead. Little candle, keep my parents warm. Gotta light it to do that. I will. Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Can I take the rose? A rose. Is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? Cool. <laughs> yeah, let's light it. Might as well. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. All, all wonderful. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay. Yep. Fran Bo Dagonart. It's weird that they just call her Fran Bo. Yeah. I think it's just because it's cute. It's, it's cute. Fran Bo Dagonart sounds uh, ominous. Foreboding. Can we just stick with our he hands? Dr. Deeran thinks we can find some clues to find the killer. I have to find a shovel to dig and see my parents. Dr. Deeran thinks we can find some clues. Okay. Let's find a shovel over here in the crypt. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. But nobody likes to be dead. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think nobody wishes to be alone, so I'm leaving. <sighs> I hate you, Fran. Why? <laughs> the puns. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Good thing you got that. Yep. The only item that I have picked up in this area. Oh, hey! These guys. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. <gasps> oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. I didn't know these guys could talk. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Scared? I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. <laughs> I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. <gasps> the tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. <laughs> oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedle worms won it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? Where will I find that? Ugh. All right, I'll see what I can do. Let's just go cut up the doctor's car seats. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. That's like literally the only thing I can think of, though. <laughs> All right, I saw this knife for a reason. Whoops! What a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. <laughs> I feel bad about that. <gasps> Mating ritual. Was there anything else I could have cut up? I don't think so. Like that's the only leathery thing. Maybe I, the maybe the teddy bear. No. Thing, honestly. Maybe I could have given him some of my own skin. <laughs> no, he wanted synthetic leather though. He specifically said that. He did. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Finesalus, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Yay! Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh good, he's alive. <laughs> I'm... I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? What? Oh no. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Was he running from something? Hmm? He was running from something. I don't think so. Oh. There's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. What? So I just have to leave? Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then something else. Oh, you found the shovel. Okay. <laughs> there you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. A pair? I'm digging too? Yeah, She's gonna, like, weird. get one shovel full of dirt out of this whole thing. Yeah, early. <laughs> She's a weak little child. <laughs> like, literally, I will save you two seconds of digging. Can I just let him do it? I don't know. <laughs> Is this hole getting bigger? It's not. Alright. <laughs> Yay! She has a tiny shovel. Oh. <laughs> Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open the door. You want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of- These are probably what? really heavy! Alright, sir. I'll open them. <sighs> Which one should I start with? Mommy, Daddy, or Fran? I think... Mommy, Daddy, and then Fran. Okay. Wow, the music just stopped. <laughs> Coffins can't be a... Oh, those are stuck. There's oh, is that, that Daddy? Oh my goodness, Father. The deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, Daddy? I mean... How long has it been? Um, It's been a few months. A few months? Does decomposition happen that quickly? Um, I think it happens over, I don't know. It seems, he seems more decomposed than I would have guessed, but I don't know how long it actually takes, so. Alright. No, oh, do this for each one. There's Mommy. Ugh. Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. Weren't they, like, cut up, too? Like, I know yeah, they, they probably were. put them together, so but it looks like, it looks like she's well put together. Like, yeah, it really does. Hmm. The coroner did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Hold on a second. My mic is slipping. I need to fix this. Yeah, we got an hour. There we go. Sorry. It's all right. And there's Mr. Midnight. Maybe. No, that's it's that. actually. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great. <laughs> but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. <laughs> oh, it's not Mr. Midnight, it's Albert. Okay. No, that that's Mr. Midnight. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. this. Psycho. Also, that dead cat is not my cat! They're lying! Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. Yeah, that is Mr. Midnight. Maybe. No, it is. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me! Take me home, and I'll show you. P please? All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Wait, isn't Aunt Grace involved in this, though? Yep. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, shit. 
I never looked at this one. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Not expecting that one. Like, it happened. I, I was expecting it. I just wasn't expecting it at that moment. Yeah. Banish to the hands of darkness. You have no manners. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. <gasps> what? She absorbed my life force. That sound. You broken little girl. House of Madness invites you inside. No. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. 